Today, I ask you to try this experiment to get closer to truth, to get closer to reality. So today ask yourself, am I experiencing sound or am I experiencing the activity called hearing? Am I experiencing objects, colors, shapes? Or am I experiencing seeing? Am I experiencing flavors? Or am I experiencing tasting? Am I experiencing fragrances? Or am I activating the activity called smelling? Am I experiencing thought? Or am I generating the activity called thought? Soon, start to ask yourself, what is my fundamental activity in consciousness? And soon you realize there's no world of objects, situations, circumstances, people, things, animals, stars, um, molecules, atoms, space, time, gravity. These are names we give to modes of experiencing. And these are very useful constructs, but they're not reality. Reality is the activity that generates seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, thinking, feeling, imagining, creating, being inspired, having a vision. That is the reality where consciousness is modulating itself, becoming aware of itself as those experiences. So. Human awareness knows itself as the awareness of what we call the universe. But the awareness of that which we call the universe is a bunch of sensations, perceptions, which is very species specific, which is within a narrow band and which can be shifted and which is inaccurate to begin with, a magical lie. So if you want to, if you want to uh, experience freedom, then choose your seeing, choose your perceiving, choose your thinking, choose your feeling, and choose your imagining. And then the world shifts.